Well, there she is. This is the famous Nolan's Crossing. I was gonna, I'd like to say this looks familiar on all the videos I've seen. However, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Most of the uh, videos would <laughs> end up here. It must change a fair bit, though. The deep. Oh, girl. It's oh, the wait. deepness. And the soft sand. goes deep straight away. Yeah, it goes deep straight away. Well, we need to, like, suss each one and make a decision. Hey, do the old pocket check. Obviously, this is the straight through one, and this is going to be deep. <clears throat> this keeps getting deeper. Well, if you stop here, it's water in the car if you get bogged. No, you don't want to stop here. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. And if you go in the wheel rut, I'll go in the wheel rut. Feel the wheel rut. The wheel rut. Oh, this is deep here. That's, this is this is out rut. of a wheel rut. Yeah, this is wheel rut. See the difference? Yeah. That's been gouged. Yeah, you've got to try and stay out of two wheel ruts. High side. We've got, then you're going to have one wheel. This is not the, yeah, this is not the only one, but it starts coming up. Oh, but it's, it's soft, eh? Yeah. The exit's soft. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's let tyres down the whole nine yards. Well, that's one. And let's walk back through this next one. And then once we know them all, we can make an executive decision. It's not a promising start. Jeez, it's like a bloody rabbit warren, isn't it? <laughs> you wait till you see gunshot. Get, you get to the edge of it and go. Not liking this one No, either. a big steep exit. All right if you're going this way, but we're not going this way, we're going that way. You don't even, you don't even have a tree to sort of pull yourself Hard up on this though. one. But then, <laughs> oh, it's just as deep as the other one. And then see you later. But yeah. You can't, and you can't straddle the wheel rut there to this one. The only, uh, the only difference is at least the car will probably be out of water once it's stopped. Nah, you'll get to there and then, the, the, well, for me, the, the, tray, van, the, the van, van will be full oh, of water. The van, yeah, the van, no way. Nah, this one's out. This one. <laughs> Look how deep it is here. Bye bye. Oh. Nah, no, no, that one's out. We're not doing that one. Okay, so far that one's the winner. So far, all bad. Thinking to the left. Far left. Maybe we're gonna have to set up a big pulley block and a rope and you just reverse and as you get stuck you just yank on that. The, yeah, the other guy pulls on the other pulls one. You through. <laughs> it's elaborate, I like it. That one just looks horrible on the exit. I don't even know if that's worth walking up that one. But then we gotta remember we've got big long trailers to get around. The exit on this one looks good. Hey, the depth's not too shabby. So far. So far, so good. That's There's a nice. little bit of a, like it's a little bit holy here, but it's hard. Hard. The bottom's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I've got hardness. That's a nice gradual exit. Yes. I think we've, I think we've got a winner. I think we've got a winner. We've got a winner. It's definitely the shallowest so far. 100%. I, I'm going to choose door three. Number three. <laughs> Door three, definitely door three, 100%. We'll, we'll get that, tyres down, we'll, we'll go 110%. The only thing with door three is, nothing to winch off. We'll drive through that with tyres down. Which is what we want to do, we don't want to hesitate in there. That's no, yeah, no, no hesitation. Of, no. But having said that, we've got to get one vehicle through, if you can get me through. Yeah. So if I get through, yeah. you and then at least I'll sit up there with... Yeah, with, with your strap ready to go. I reckon. You'll soon see how I go on the first run, yeah. how hard it is, yeah, to get and out. if it's looking tricky, or yeah. it's, yeah. you know what I mean? Because that's going to tell you straight away whether or not it's going to be like, uh-oh, uh-oh, jungle. So, looks like it goes up and then cuts across to get back to the track, because it doesn't look like there's much in between. Oh, uh, yeah. Looks like everyone's just been driving yeah, around. Been around. Okay. Oh, I think we got a winner. All Door roads. three. So we're going to let some tyres down. Yes. Let some tyres down. Because there's a little bit softy there. Yeah. So what's our exit plan? What's the plan if I get stuck? Are you going to pull me backwards? Because i got no forwards. I don't think you're going to get stuck. If, it, if we don't. If, if you don't, yeah. Yeah, so pull you backwards. Have, yeah, pull you backwards. I need to have something ready. We just have the rope on the back of your yeah, trailer. Literally, you need to be there. Up. Yeah. Winch rope pulled out ready just to hook onto the back of you. Probably not the winch rope. I'll probably go straight no, for a kinetic rope. Kinetic rope. I'll hook the kinetic yeah. rope to the back of your trailer. Yeah, yeah and then come down and go. Yeah, you just got to come around. Hold us right here. You can be in the cab and then smash him backwards. Yep. Happy days. Because we've got no forwards. Like, I think there's a, there's a pile of trees way up the top there, but maybe yeah. how long it's going to take to hook for that. Winch yeah. extension rope and all that sort of jazz. You let your tyres down, mate, and you stick it to that V8, you're going to eat that. 
eat it. You're gonna eat it. Oh, it's down it is. You, you gotta run up from hell. You'll barely even touch the water from there. <laughs> Won't be much track left for you and I. We'll but... see we've seen when Jace gets his yeah, yeah, gets, yeah, gets go to it. Oh, <laughs> At least I'm unattended. <laughs> I should have seen that coming a long time ago. <laughs> I'd like to get you back, but you never wear shoes. Do you reckon, have you seen it that deep before? No, deepest I've seen Nolan's buddy. Yeah? Yeah. And normally you're like dropping straight in, it's deep, then it shallows out. So uh, yeah. as you lose momentum, you're getting shallower, the car's out of water. The trick is, because it's not very wide, it's only deep for a short section, the trick is not to get bogged in it. Because yeah. everyone gets bogged in it. Yeah. If we let our tyres down, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get bogged in it. Alright. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, Nolan's has obviously changed a lot since I was last year and cruise into Nolan's. Going in. I knew exactly what was going to happen. I was going to drive my big truck in, my wheels were going to get wet, I was going to drive my big truck out. And if I got bogged in the middle, Nah. It was almost like, this is too easy. Yeah, it was too easy. So, I do not want to get wet trucks. Last time we come through, it didn't get wet. Bring that trailer down off the bank, hopefully. Come down, trailer. Yeah, we're good. Straight through Nolan's, out we go. And you know what got wet? Camera truck. Camera guys tried to get through. He's going, he's going out, and then he stops, and then you see it. Boom. Wheels are just spinning, sand's just going everywhere, he's going nowhere. Too much air in his tires, spun some wheels, drowned the camera truck. And it's like, holy crap, get the winch. So I jump in the truck, and the truck was just sitting there. I reverse the truck back up, and I'm getting the winch in the wind. The whole time inside the car, it's starting to fill up with water, and it's like action station. And, and once we got the truck hooked on, yes, we could tow it out. But by then, the damage was done. It was easily a foot of water inside that car. It was almost up lapping the seat. Nolans had claimed another vehicle. And it was one of ours. Oops. Just hooking up the kinetic rope, ready, just when Jace shoots across that creek. If he gets hung up, we can recover him from behind, back out again before the car fills up. Just a safety precaution. I have probably good confidence I'll get through, but if I don't, just in case. Now, probably what we need is we need Simon down in there as well, ready to go. So he needs to be in position. That's just going to float straight off as soon as I go across the water. Yeah, I was going to hook one end up so probably, a bit higher. Yeah just so it stops it from doing exactly that. That would be a go. In fact, actually just have it sitting on the back. Have the whole lot wrapped around. Like that. It's ready to pull straight off. Perfect. Whoosh. Hook out, boom. We reckon Simon drop in first, reverse all the way back down that shallow part. And then you can drop in and get ready to go, and then he's there ready to go. I'll be down there with the radio and I'll hook him up. So yeah, Pretty he much. He doesn't have to you get out of the car. You don't even get out of the car. No, that's why I'll do all that. You just got to make sure that he's hooked up because he's got he's got um, real he's sharp. Up. See where he is, uh. He's got real sharp recovery oh, point in front of his truck, so you're going to need that. Yep. Copy that. I'll grab a radio. Nothing like being a little bit cautious. Don't want to drown vehicles. This is notorious for drowning vehicles. There's a pile of drowned vehicles at the back of the workshop in Bamaga every season. And then some they put on back of trucks and insurance jobs and others, they're just left there. <laughs> okay, Nolan's. We've got a big elaborate plan at Nolan's here going on. I'm gonna go down and position myself in this part of the creek. So if Jace gets stuck, I'll be ready to pull him backwards out of the deep part. So that's our plan. He's going to hit it, he gets stuck, and I'll rip him out backwards. I'm going to go down in here, just because I can. Maybe. <laughs> that's a bit more of an angle than I thought it was going to be, but whatever. Simon's going to set up 
back down the, that little track a little bit so that he can hook onto the back of me and then as I um, if, yeah, you got stuck, you if I get stuck and I've got the ability for someone to pull me back, pop me back because the, the soft sand in the, in the bottom of Nolan's that gets, gets you into trouble. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, straighten up. Bit of manoeuvring, Let the fun begin. Might leave the um, seatbelt off for this one. Wind the windows up, otherwise the car will be full of water. Come around this side. Right, I made your first up. What's okay. your plan? Truck loads of right foot. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's number one <laughs> on the list. There's a reason you made this truck powerful. Yeah, and there's a, the second one is. Um, yeah, as soon as I, if I stop, you gotta, you got to be hooked up we quick are, we and get are, me back. We are good to go. Yeah. yeah. And look, every time we've come through here, I've never been stuck, right? Neither of you. No. And it's always, sometimes it's generally around mm -hmm. that third and fourth vehicle. Yeah, where the sand's all been stirred up. Yes. Yep, yep. So, we've narrowed the distance now. That definitely, that's a bog. Yeah. You get bogged there. Yeah. So right. this little section here, it's going to be Bonnet, water over the bonnet, and then pop out. As long as I can get that pop out. There's traction up there where you can struggle. Yeah. But if you've got your car out of the water, oh, have your days. Once, once, yeah. Reach. Once my wheels get to that first little thing there, yeah. whatever's behind me doesn't matter. Can yeah. you, it's we'll a boat. Just, we'll just have to find. We'll just have to find somewhere to winch if you do get out, because you don't want to come back to it. No, no, no. As long as, as long as you see me out of the water enough, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. And I think we won't have a problem. But just precautions. Precautions good. All right, so you're ready on the road? Ready on the road. You're ready, ready in the, on the, in the in truck, the, mate. We're good. On the truck, we're you good. You look like you're in Connection trouble. Connection points. We're on it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So you're damned just... All right, well, I'm going full diff locks, everything. Oh, there's your space. Power just button, stuff. everything. Yeah. <laughs> diff lock. So what I'll do is I'll drive forward and then engage it, make sure it's engaged. G'day, guys. It's me again. Now, today's video is brought to you by the Campos 4x4 Boss Air Range. Now I've got a few of those bits and pieces here. Now, one of the ones that uh, really stands out for me is the tire repair kit. Mate, I wouldn't leave home without one of these on your next adventure. This could get you out of a sticky situation in the middle of nowhere with a quick bush tire repair. So remember that one? We've used that a lot once, you know, when we've been out in the field. Now, if you get a chance, go on to Campos 4x4 shop online or check out your local Campos 4x4 dealer. Anyway, back to the adventure. Low range, four wheel drive, traction control off, diff locks on, um, sunglasses, do I need my sunglasses on? No. No, okay, don't need sunglasses. Wipe pads off the floor. Wipe pad, wipers on? Yeah. <laughs> not possibly yet. But it's not raining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seatbelt? I'll yeah. leave your windows down too. No. Yeah, I'll leave your windows down so if you do get stuck, you can get out. Oh, you just... <laughs> Swim. I don't think it's that type of crossing. <laughs> <laughs> iPads off the floor, laptops off. He did leave his window down too. He did. Oh, no. Get me out of here, boys. Get me out of here. Get 
Get me out of here! Water's coming in. It's all bad. Get me out of here, boys. Water's coming in. Go, go, go. Go, Jace, go, go, go. Just floated, mate. There we go, wet car again. My radio's in there somewhere. Oh, is it? Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to happen. No, that didn't go according to plan. What happened? Like, I, I had no traction in no. there. No, I see Like, that. it just sort of, like, it was literally... Yeah, you just ran out of traction real quick. Wow. It was deep, because it filled quick. We were on that recovery pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Trying to snatch you with a van on the back? We should have ditched the van. Go jackknifing. Haga. <coughs> did not want that to happen. You let the window down too, did you? Yep. Yeah. After that conversation. Not yeah. want that to happen at all. Now I'm wet to the friggin' boards. All through. Are you right up to the console? No, no, I only, only sort of went to about here. Yeah, right. here. Yeah. Okay, they're waterproof. No shit, it's yeah. loaded. Yeah. You know that? what it is, don't you? It's 100% because it's got to go like that. Yeah. It's not because you think about it, every time you come this way, you drop down and then you move out. we got to go up, yeah. we've got to go in, float, and then, and then try and drive out in deep water. Yeah, and you were deep, it comes straight over your bonnet. Mm. So you're actually hitting and Going that fast too, it's like hitting a wall, so it's actually the water slowing you down. That's what happened. You hit the big wall of water and it stopped you. You lost your momentum by hitting the water. Yeah, right? 100%. So you're like trying to push. You're not just driving, you're trying to push yeah. a brick wall. That's what happened. You have to ditch, ditch trailers, get a single car across first. No, I don't think you're even going to do that. It wasn't the trailer that was stopping me at all. The wall of water. The trailer was doing nothing. The depth in the wall of water. Didn't even feel the weight of the trailer. Yeah, we don't need to do that to every vehicle. Wow, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a sauce. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> that was awesome. Here's the problem right there, that deep little hole right there. I reckon taking a trailer off is gonna help getting someone through first. It's the depth of this hole. It's even deeper now that someone dug it a new one. It must be deeper than normal. It's even deeper. Oh, it's deeper than normal, yeah. And like you say, we're coming this way. That way, so. <laughs> bit, bit. But yeah. yeah, it's deeper than normal. Yes and no. This one's even deeper. You don't even get halfway <laughs> anywhere near it and it's chest high. Oh, no. Oh, you're wet now. You might as well have a crack at this one. Or that one. That's not helping, Simo. No. No, I was actually quite serious. What's that one like? Well, that's a horrible exit. Yeah, it's just... But it's I reckon a... if you went slow, now that you're wet, and we had... I reckon you'd probably drive through this one. Just don't hit it so fast. Because yeah, you, you went fast, I watched, I watched it, and you got this huge wall of water come up in front of you. If you just drove normally, let your tyres down some more, like let them down flat, because, you know, you can let them down heaps yet. You'd drive straight through here. I reckon. You're already wet. Can't get any I don't out. want to get any. Yes, I can. I can get that in my car. Not that in my car. Just a suggestion. Stay to that far right. It's just deep. Yeah, just, uh, just hug it's that just back. just deep all the time. The car floats. No traction. 
the problem is you get my truck across, every truck's got to come across in this. Yeah. Oh, you're thinking of going back the other way? Well, you, one truck, two trucks, oh, what, three, four? Oh, I agree, yeah, we don't want to drown all the trucks. You drown trucks. And we're dr dr drowning a camera car and look, to the point where it actually doesn't work anymore. Yeah. That's not good. Very bad. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing you. It's not great at no. all. No, if you're not hell-bent on getting through here, that's obvious, that's the smart choice. I'm not hell-bent at all. No, well, let's go back the other way then. I think we've got to go back and yeah. come in on another, around it. Just make the call, go, they've had too much rain, you know, we don't want to kill all our vehicles, we've had a good crack at it. We're, we're going to be chickens, we're taking the chicken truck. Yeah, <laughs> might have to. Yeah. Let's not be silly. I thought I would have at least got my wheels out. I thought you were going to eat that. I thought yeah, you were no romp kidding. It. Nolan's claims them. It does. Yeah. That's why it claims them. Yeah, 100%. And we're doing it in reverse. There's the problem. Yeah. What were your tyres at, Jase? Oh, they're down, like 18. Like, much more ain't going to make any difference when you don't have, when you float. It's all the vehicles that's the worry. I it's not because I'm digging down and getting no. stuck in the bottom. No. Like, I, I could feel it. I was sitting there, my wheels are just going like that. It's not yeah. even feeling the bottom. Like, I didn't even feel like I was on the bottom. Well, that hole there, you probably bellied your truck out. The difference from the high point? Yeah, the from holes, the, yeah, from the, the, yeah, the, the you, ridge. You're probably sitting... Yeah, probably. probably. That's what out. it felt like. I was yeah. bellied out yeah. underwater. Yeah, 100%. I don't like it at all. Sucks to have to turn around at the end of the day. Oh. <laughs> crab just bit me on the foot. Crab. I'm, I'm telling you, something just bit me on the foot. A crab. <laughs> <laughs> it did. There's a little nippy thing yeah, in bloody there. Bloody freshwater crabs. There is. Get every time. Corn. Make the call. All over. That's right. We'll go the other way. We've had fun. We tried. Had a crack. No need to wreck all the vehicles. I don't even know why I'm pulling my shirt up anymore. Well, that's the end of that. It's way too deep. Like We enjoyed it. I don't think he did, but we did. Like I reckon there's probably about a foot more water here than normal. This savage. And and I I talked I spoke to someone in town, and they brought a truck further down in the in the heathlands area where the where you got to do this big long section of water. Way down there, the water is um, he reckons it was top of his mirrors. And it's like in a 60 series Land Cruiser, I I'm not four inch lift and 35s. Are, I don't want water at the top of my mirrors. Nah. Uh-uh. These are high-tech trucks, mate. You get them full of water, that's, that's about as high-tech as they get. They stop. And we're not as high as you either. All our, no. all our stuff. All our powerful. No. Nope. All our electric stuff that does stuff. Yep. 100%. This is why even in the, the, the middle of the dry, people end up on the back of uh, tilt trays. Yeah. That's, That's why there's a big sign there. a big sign, sign there, mate. It makes a fortune. Can you hook towing? <laughs> Not going to have this customer. That was the easiest one out of all of them. You think it was going to have Yeah, that was the easiest one. one. Yep. That's the easiest one. That's how far we got. Bull bar didn't even hit the sand. I know. It was lucky I made the call to have the car to pull you backwards, eh? Ooh, yeah. So what's our exit plan? What's the plan if I get stuck? You're going to pull me backwards? I don't think you're going to get stuck. You let your tyres down, mate, and you stick it to that V8, you're going to eat that. Eat it. You're going to eat it. Tyres down it is. You've you got to run up from hell. You'll barely even touch the water from there. <laughs> yeah. Should have done that trial. I'm not sure what I'm watching off. It was deep. Oh, it was deep. Not off to get water in the canopy. I guess the beauty of Nolan's is you get a nice place for the swim. Now, the thing with the tally track, like I said, it can, can change overnight like that. One minute it's deep, one minute it's this much shallower. But there are heaps of tracks where you can come in and out. Now you don't want to, you don't want to just, you know, I guess to get this hard and go. Ah, I'm going. See you later. You can actually go back out, down the PDR, still enjoy the waterfalls, all that sort of stuff. We're going to try and go back because I'm not going to deal with another. I'm not going to deal with that again. So we're going to go back, back out to the PDR, drop down, and come back in and see what the rest of the track's like. I don't know. We. 
First time I've had to turn around on it. Next time, we are full of bombs. Oh, go, 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 go. Yeah! Full of barra. Yeah! Full of birds. And full of... Booyah! Whatever that means. Oh, and more bombs. Yeah! <laughs> Join them for the misadventure.